you're a talented artist with an interest in criminal justice and law enforcement, then you may be well suited for a career in forensic art. Forensic sketch artists, also known as composite artists, use their artistic skills to create images of potential criminals and missing persons. Forensic artists have multifaceted careers that require them to think critically, ask probing questions, take verbal information and express it in artistic mediums. Today, let's explore the career of a forensic artist. Forensic sketch artists typically work as members of a law enforcement team or are employed as freelancers. Most have a bachelor's degree in fine art, criminal justice, or computer science. The International Association for Identification, the world's oldest and largest forensic association, defines three main disciplines in forensic art. Composite art, post-mortem rendering, and image modification and enhancement. Composite artistic imagery requires forensic artists to ask questions and create sketches of victims or suspects using paper and pencil sketches. Post-mortem rendering or facial reconstruction involves rendering faces using computer software, paper and pencil, or sculpting clay from viewing photographs or actual skeletal remains. Image modification and enhancement are used by forensic artists to create age-processed images that can help families and law enforcement locate missing people. These three artistic specializations are effective for law enforcement in bringing justice and closure to victims' families. If a composite artist has a good description of the victim or suspect, they will use their skills to accurately portray them. However, if the artist is working with mysterious remains, they oftentimes will enhance facial qualities, sometimes in an exaggerated way, to portray characteristics of the victim, rather than try to come up with a realistic rendition. This is done intentionally so that the public will notice features rather than a predetermined person. In other words, instead of guessing what this specific person might look like, they will exaggerate features that are applicable to the victim, without speculating on details that are unknown. High school students aspiring to become forensic sketch artists are encouraged to take as many courses as possible in art, anatomy, civics, computer science, and graphic design. And it is recommended to pursue a two-year associate degree or a four-year bachelor's degree in criminal justice or fine art. Certification for forensic sketch artists is not required for most positions, but having it may increase an applicant's chances of gaining employment. Forensic Artist Certification is available through the International Association for Identification and encourages applicants to have solid fundamental knowledge in composite imaging, facial reconstruction, and age or image enhancement. Due to the numerous career pathways to train for this career, the average annual salary for a forensic sketch artist varies widely. Salaries depend on factors such as education, experience, years of employment, and locations where work is performed. Professionals who hold associate or bachelor's degrees statistically earn higher salaries than professionals with a high school diploma. Therefore, certification or proof of continuing education courses can help people leverage higher salaries. Forensic artistry is instrumental in helping law enforcement agents connect the many important dots that ultimately lead to resolutions and convictions. And while it's definitely not for the faint of heart, a forensic artist career can be incredibly fulfilling, 
particularly for those who are looking for unique ways to put their creative skills to work. If you've got the skills, the desire, and the temperament, then give forensic artistry a shot. You'll gain valuable criminal justice experience along the way, with the potential to build a career that you enjoy and that helps keep your community safe.